Hey guys, it's Kennedy and for today's video I'm going to be doing a beauty haul. I went to Sephora the other day as well as I placed an order on Tarte's website and I have a couple of fun drugstore things I decided I'd throw in the mix. So let's just get started because we have a lot to talk about. So we're going to start off with Sephora and the first thing is this guy over here. So I don't know the exact name of this box set but this is from First Aid Beauty and it comes with five products in here. And what really sold me, besides the fact that I wanted to try some of these, is that this costed me $60 and it was a $118 value. So literally 49% savings. When they put those stickers on, I'm just like, wow, that's a good deal. I should buy it. And um, clearly I did. So um, I have this here. So inside there is the Ultra Repair Cream, Ultra Repair Intensive Lip Balm, the Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum, Face Cleanser, and the Facial Radiance Pads, all of which I have tried out and I so far am loving. I've used the serum before, so it was nice to have a replacement. Um, I love that. I really wanted the cream because my skin's been so dry this winter, even though we haven't officially hit winter yet, is already just killing my skin. So I wanted that. And then the cleanser and the radiance pads um, were not like selling points for me, but I've been using them and I like them and I really wanted to try the lip balm. And so far I like it again. It's like awful weather has just been killing my skin, including my lips. So I've been using that. I love this. And yeah, it's a good value. I love buying box sets like this. I love the holidays and Sephora always sucks me in with stuff like this. Cause it's always like a good deal. Also from First Aid Beauty, I have this 5-in-1 eye cream and I picked this up because I was running low on my Laneige Water Bank eye gel that I use um, morning and night and uh, I really like that just to hydrate my under eyes but I wanted to see if there was something else in the same kind of price range that would also help moisturize my under eyes and keep them hydrated because they get so dry and then Concealer and stuff looks nasty. So I picked this up. I've only been using this for a couple days. Um, it's good. It says it's safe for sensitive skin, which is awesome because my skin can be so sensitive. And uh, yeah, it hasn't irritated me and hasn't done wonders just yet, but I like it so far. And last thing from Sephora is this Sephora brand waterproof eye makeup remover. So nothing exciting. I've used this for years and I don't go through these too often, um, but I just, I love them for removing my like waterproof mascara. And even when I'm wearing like non-waterproof mascara, I just, I like using this. I don't want to switch back and forth. It doesn't irritate my eyes. Um, and yeah, it's just, I really like this. I've used it for forever. So it's a, it's a favorite. I just lost my train of thought. It's a favorite of mine. Now hopping over to the drugstore, I just have two sponges that I got from Shoppers Drug Mart. This one is from the Joe Fresh brand. So you could also get it at Superstore, but they are selling the beauty line of Joe Fresh at Shoppers, so that's where I got it. Anyways, this was $3. This is the Gentle Exfoliating Face Puff, and it's the shape of an egg. It's actually quite abrasive. It says it's gentle, and I'm like, haha, yeah, right, because when I use it, I'm like, ow, what did I do to deserve this? Like, it's just, it's so aggressive. But it's good um, for in the morning when I wake up and I see like little patches of like dry skin that I just need to like gently exfoliate off so I can put on my makeup. I like using it then. Um, I've used it with and without cleanser and it works good either way. I'd probably recommend with cleanser if you just wanna like clean your face and also kind of exfoliate. Um, but I like this, like I said, it was $3. This does remind me though of like a sponge you would use to wash your dishes because sometimes you'll get those sponges that are like nice and soft on one side and then a gra aggressive abrasive on the other to like clean off the dried food and stuff. That's what this feels like. So uh, just be warned if you want to pick it up to exfoliate. I gave you a heads up that it might hurt, but it also, it's good. It's good to get off the dry skin. Ooh. And the other one I have is from the Quo brand and this was $6. This is a cognac sponge and my friend recommended this to me. I was telling her about my dry skin and we were just complaining about being so dry and flaky. And yeah, she told me about this. I saw one at Sephora on sale for $15 and I was like, haha, no thank you. So a $6 one is much better. Just looks like this. It's nice and squishy. And this one has a string on it, which is cool. So I can hang it to dry. Once it dries, it like hardens back up and it reminds me of like a sea sponge kind of thing and then you just wet it again you can use it with or without cleanser and it's so squishy and it's not like abrasive but it does like super gently kind of exfoliate which i love um so i like using that too um if i don't want to use this super abrasive sponge and this is nice for using like in the morning if you just want to like 
gently wash your face and just kind of refresh it. And I'm just rambling about sponges now, but I really like these, you guys, okay? It cost me $9 to get two sponges and they're great, 10 out of 10. Also, I think you can find a sponge like this at the face shop my friend recommended, but I just went to shoppers first, so I've got mine there. And lastly, I wanna show you guys what I picked up from Tarte. I did two separate online orders. One was because Cyber Monday and they had really good deals going on, and the other one was because they were out of stock of my Shape Tape Concealer and then they finally restocked, so I grabbed that separately. So with the Cyber Monday deals, I got these quick dry lip paints, oh, quick dry matte lip paints. And uh, I got four different colors. They were like 15 bucks each instead of like 23 or something. So it was a good deal. I got the colors Get It, Rose, Bounce, and Home Slice. And I'm wearing the color Home Slice right now. Um, I've tried Bounce and Rose and I really like them. Get It just looks really peachy. So I'm kind of scared to wear that one, but I'll try it eventually. Um, I like these. They are fairly comfortable to wear, but they are essentially just any other liquid lipstick. So they're gonna get dry depending on how many layers you put on. It's gonna get a little uncomfortable. Um, and if you eat anything greasy or oily, it's gonna break down and wear away. But um, I have worn the other two colors like to work and stuff and had a break in the middle and I've only had to mildly reapply like just kind of in the center um, because I've eaten food and it reapplies pretty nicely. I just do like a super thin layer and I like it. It is fairly comfortable and yeah, I don't got much else to say. I can't speak today y'all. I just, I gotta stop. So I follow Tarte on Snapchat and I saw quite a while back that they were releasing this Man Eater mascara and they were selling it on QVC, but it wasn't something that I could like get my hands on. So finally they have it on the website and I was placing an order so I figured I'd grab one of these too. Um, this is a magnetic mascara, so literally don't ask me like what that entails because I don't know much about this. I just know that I really wanted this and I've been using it for a few days and I really like it. Um, I use it first and then I still put on my roller lash mascara just to help kind of separate it. But I do like this. I feel like it makes my eyelashes nice and dark and it's not waterproof, which is fine by me. It hasn't been like running or anything like that. Um, and it just helps like lengthen them and it keeps my curl, like it holds my curl, my eyelashes for so long. So I really like it so far. I also grabbed a couple of my Shape Tape concealers. I use the shade Fair, and this is something that they don't sell in Sephora, and they just sell in like Ulta, which is nowhere near where I live. It's like a four hour drive, or online, so I figured I would pick up two of those because I love using the Shape Tape concealer. I use it under my eyes every day, love it. And then the last thing I got free with each of my orders was just a little concealer brush just a flat brush. I don't tend to use these. Um, I did get two of them. I gave one to my mom already, so I just got another one. I'll take a free brush. I think it's like free with any, I don't know like what amount to purchase, but I was like, yeah, I'll take it. I'll find a use for it. I'll give it to someone, so there we go. But that is it for my video today, you guys. Sorry I was so rambly and all over the place, but like, what else is new? Anyways, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I think she's adorable. And I always like saying, you guys made me ink. And it doesn't sound good now. Sometimes it does when I'm not sick and still like kind of scratchy. But anyways, there she is. I love her, she's my fave. First one was that this is a $60 value. Nope, 